Hello everybody. I am back with another Briar Horse 2019 review. Today we are going to be doing Catch Me, who just arrived in the mail. Here we have him. From the box, he's gorgeous. I can see a itty bitty little mark on his rear end. But hopefully that won't be too big of a deal. I just got back from the Ride for Pride show in Ready, Reading, whatever, Pennsylvania. So that was a haul. Um, and one person did have him and showed him. And I don't remember if he did well or not. Um, also, update for my last video, the Enzo review. I did show him today and he did not place. But to be fair, there were probably over 40 horses in his class. So... Mm, I'm not really surprised. It's not like he was amazing, and a lot of people did have really nice horses to show. So, just keep that in mind. I do think he's a really nice horse, and I was able to fix his flaws. So, he's LSQ now, and is a permanent member of my show string, or at least until I get tired of him. So, let's get down to business and unbox this gorgeous guy. Um... Yeah. Okay. On account of me being really bad at opening boxes, that took forever. But we finally have him out, and he is a stunner. I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you that his dappling is very nice. It's not scaly, and it's blended really well, so I am very excited about that. Um, let's see. There are no seams in his mane. Base marking is very crisp. Little seam up here by the ear, but that's okay. Nice dappling. He's got horseshoes. That's always nice. And overall, I don't see any flaws. Um, like last time, I did get him off of Amazon from the same person I got Enzo from. And maybe Enzo was just a fluke and they got bad stock because this guy is stunning. I'm planning on ordering the next 2019 release, the one on the Duende Mold, whose name I can't pronounce. He's the next one that I want to get. So yeah, as soon as that becomes available on Toy IQ on Amazon, I will be ordering him and I will do a review of him as well. I did see him in person today at the show. He's gorgeous. I am in love with him. I think the bay color is really, really gorgeous on the Duende Mold. I also really, really am a big fan of customs on the Duende Mold and the True North Mold, as I'm sure everybody else is. So I might be picking up a couple extras to add to my need to be resculpted and then sent out for paint work, or in my case, sent out for both because I can't do either. At least not well. So yeah, I will show you close-ups of him in a moment. like him. I personally really like him. I'm a big fan of this guy. He is gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. He has a gelding. I always forget that. Um, I mm -hmm. highly recommend him. I think 
de okay, definitely between him and Enzo, this guy wins. He is definitely my favorite. Between him and the new Duende, though, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to get them both in hand, and then I'll compare them. But yeah. He's very pretty. I like his coloring 100 times better than I do Enzo's. The quality, 100 times better than Enzo was. So yeah, overall, Catch Me is doing an incredibly good job. I paid $52 for him with free shipping on Amazon, which is a little bit more than you can get on other websites, but I did have a gift card and I wanted to use it for Amazon. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and please subscribe to my channel for future videos. If you want me to review other models, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to do it. If you'd like to see anything else from me, suggest it. I'm more than happy to do whatever you guys want. Thanks. Have a nice night, guys. Bye.